Wasengishu is aptly dubbed the county of champions for producing some of the most famous world conquering athletes and every morning these are the scenes that will greet you. Athletes chasing their athletic dreams. Equally, the North Rift Valley Waterworks Development Agency, the ninth of its kind, gazetted in February 2020, is tirelessly working to complete the various water, sanitation and sewer projects. These projects are aimed at providing sustainable water and sanitation infrastructure to the 3.2 million residents of Uwasengishu, Turkana, Elgeyo Marakwet and West Pokot counties. Upon taking over, President Uhuru Kenyatta's government did make a commitment to grow water, access to portable clean water, to 62%. I'm very happy to note that we have actually touched on that target and exceeded because currently we are at 70% of giving Kenyans portable water in a sustained manner. This is to say, out of 10 Kenyans, 7 Kenyans are able to access portable water. According to Kenya's development program, the Vision 2030 aims at increasing universal access to safe drinking water and sanitation for all, both in the urban and the rural areas. In line with this, the North Rift Valley Waterworks Development Agency is working on various projects to help achieve this. Our mandate is to develop water and sanitation infrastructure in those four counties and um, ensure that the populace within this area of jurisdiction um, is adequately provided for in terms of water and sanitation. And then we are also responsible for maintaining this infrastructure before we hand it over to a responsible water service provider that is owned by the county governments in the respective counties. The North Rift Valley Water Agency works in collaboration with the Kenya Town's Sustainable Water Supply and Sanitation Program to prepare all the designs of the various projects. Currently, out of the four counties, only two have ongoing projects. Wasin Gishu County has two projects, that is the Keep Current Water Supply Project and the Last Mile Connectivity Project. West Pokot County also has two sewerage projects, that is Kapenguria and Chepareria sewer projects. In order to meet the water needs of the larger population of Eldoret Municipality and parts of Nandi, the African Development Bank approved a budget of 1.18 billion shillings to construct a water treatment facility under the Keep Current Dam. The capacity of this treatment plant that is being constructed is about 25,000 cubic meters per day. There will be a pumping station just uh, down here where we will pump 2,500 cubic meters back to Nandi North, Lelmoko, and then the rest, which is about uh, 22,500, will be pumped to Eloet Municipality. The other project in Wasingishu County is the Last Mile Connectivity Project, a government project aimed at connecting or extending services including water supply and sewerage services to increase the connectivity of customers in the various towns. Eloy is one of the towns where this Last Mile Connectivity Project is being implemented under the funding of uh, African Development Bank. And in Eldoret town, the extension is for uh, sewer networks. The extension is for about 47 kilometers, which will cover about 50% of the total coverage. Like any other project involving various agencies, the engineers and contractors have had their fair share of challenges while implementing the projects. Part of the delays is, is access to land, land compensation, access to way leaves. I just want to take a reflection that issues touching on land are domiciled within not even the Ministry of Land but NLC, the National Land Commission. I like NLC from a point of culture to also come and say we need to approach everything with the urgency that it deserves. Sometimes it requires a lot of effort to get the community to accept 
and because we have to cite these projects where they live, we have had to spend quite a, an amount of time in that regard. We've continued to work with the structures that are there on the ground. For example, through the chief, all the way up to the regional commissioner, we've been able to um, get to Mwananchi at a closer level and have the representatives on the ground articulate their issues to us. For the Chepararia sewerage project in West Pokot County, which aims at improving the sanitation life for the people in Chepararia town, African Development Bank put in 270 million shillings. The project is set to benefit a population of about 15,000 by the year 2040. We have stagnant water in town, okay, because these, these people they don't have where to dispose the wastewater. You have the stagnant water there, right? You see now water is just, they are just leaving water to go to the, the river. This river is known as Cheparia River, this small river here. So the water is going there. So when it goes there, and then the people are using the same, same water to cook. If we have this project in Cheparia town, you see we are trying, we'll do as many connections as possible. We have customer connections, around 400 households. So we'll connect as many as possible. With that connection, now it means that the water that water that the wastewater that will be released by the household will go to the system. Now when it goes to the system, that means that now the Cheperia River will be safe now for maybe for other other use. Even before the project's completion impact is experienced by the over 3.2 million residents, there are immediate beneficiaries. These are the skilled and non-skilled labor providers. Tunafurahia unajua kukaa naye Kenya huwezi kaa mwisho wa mwezi bila kitu na mahitaji na kuangalia. Kitu kaa nyumba ukiangalia kama hao wote kila mtu anajitegemea. Kwa maana miaka ime imesonga yao mtu anajitegemea na anataka pesa. Sasa hiyo pesa anatoa kwa project gani? Hii hiyo miradi inasaidia watu wa eneo la Chepereria sababu kuanzia kitambo watu walikuwa wanatumia the trains lakini sasa hii nimekuwa toilets ile watu waliwana sikia kama wakazi wa hapa walifurahia sana sababu everywhere kwa hii center hatuna mali tunaweza dispose kama liters ama maji zenye zinatoka hoteli ama nini is everywhere currently the sewer coverage in Eldoret town is at 30% Upon completion of the last mile sewer project, it is estimated that by 2022, about 500,000 residents will benefit. Excavation works have progressed. We have in some sites where we have started laying the pipelines. We have constructed uh, a number of manholes. The manholes are normally precast from the yard and then brought to the site. The North Rift Waterworks Agency is diligently working with contractors and engineers to ensure the projects are completed early in the year 2022 or by December 2022. I will only be satisfied or very happy if we meet the target of 10 out of 10 Kenyans being able to access clean potable water consistently. project <laughs> In the future, it will to and when it is ready, I think everything is run smoothly. <laughs>